So welcome back, friends. Apologize for the noise. There's a lot of rain coming down on the tin roof. It comes through the mic a little bit. But I have an exciting video for you today. The video we've all been waiting for, the Yanmar Ultimate Snow Removing Tool has arrived. Would you look at that? If that doesn't give you the fizz, you are not a red-blooded American man. <laughs> so what we have here is an external hydraulic power pack uh, developed by Yanmar for this specific application to run a high flow snow blower. Let's put it on and then I'll, uh, we'll take it outside and put it all together. There's so much to talk about, but uh, I think it'd be easier if we get it out of the dark shop and get it outside and take a closer look at it. So the hydraulic power pack, what that does is that hooks up just like a, a, or any ordinary uh, three-point implement. Um, and the reason why it's important or why it's necessary is a snowblower has a, takes a, a lot of capacity, a lot of hydraulic fluid, a lot of high, high flow. I cannot wait to see how this works. We're gonna see it to, together. Okay, so this is the prop shaft. So we have a, a prop shaft just like any other mower or rototiller that will go on here. Just get everything lined up. Man, everything Yanmar does is they do such a nice job. A great big knurled knob on there. There we go, it's easy to put on. And then we just got our top link right here. You gotta, I gotta get this outside uh, to sh so you can really appreciate um, the design and the engineering that went into this. It's just a magnific magnificent piece of equipment. So to hook it up, we've got three connections. So we have these great big flat face or flat head uh, construction type of connectors, quick attach, uh, that have been plumbed in to the back here. So they should just pop, pop on there like that. All this is doing is it's just, it's bypassing the hydraulic system um, and, or it is a closed loop hydraulic system off the power pack uh, with those giant tubes running up to the front with two additional quick attaches uh, for, there we go, for uh, the uh, blower. Check this out, this is a cool part. They put an inline cooler to cool the hydraulic fl fluid with an electric fan with this big trailer plug that plugs in that all the fluid runs through. So we don't have to worry about it overheating if we get you know, into some really deep snow and, and running it at a big load. And this hooks in right here. We'll hook up the blower here in just a minute, but I just, I wanted to show you this unit. It, this is what I'm talking about with Yanmar. Look at this. They built this specifically for this sort of task. And look, look at the finish on that. That's, that was a weld, two pieces there weld. It's been, you know, they, they, I don't know what they did. They filled it, but it, it's clean. It's, I mean, it's just beautifully made. Look at the, look at the hydraulic cooler, all metal, everything welded, a great big spin on hydraulic filter, big, huge fittings. This is the tank. We got the hydraulic tank right there with a uh, sight glass. I love to have the sight glass, to see what's going on. All of the lines all wrapped and crimped and protected. There's our PTO. So what this is doing is we'll engage the PTO and then it'll drive this shaft here that's running down to this massive hydraulic pump. And that is a big hydraulic pump right there. Don't have no mistake. And then that in turn goes through the filters and the fans and then hooks onto here, these guys here. So these are big solid lines that run and I'll show you, let's walk around. Let's see, do they run on the left? Yeah, they run this side. 
So we had these ran up here, all the way tucked in really nice, all the way up here to the front uh, to the quick connects. So that's what's gonna connect up to the uh, blower right there. We've got the remote control. This is a temporarily mounted that right there. I need to build a little bit better bracket, but this is the electrics uh, for the snow blower to plug into because it's gonna be, it's hydraulic and hyd hydraulic over electric to control the, 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 the gate and the blow direction. So that's, that's what that is. We've even got weights on there. We can add or subtract depending on how heavy the front load is. I'm not exactly sure where we're at with that. I'll just start with that and see what happens. But this is really a revolutionary thing because now what it does is, is this is a 60 horse tractor. It gives us the ability to run any high flow front attachment, like anything that you could run on a skid steer that before has been out of reach. You know, the hydraulic pump on the, on the farm tractors were just not, or ag tractors were just not big enough to handle those heavy construction items. Not the case anymore. Whether it be a broom or a snow blower or, or whatever, you know, that this takes a lot of hydraulic fluid, right there is the solution. So I'll flip it around and we'll go back in and grab the blower and then we'll take it back outside and I'll spool it up. So the snow blower is on the quick attach, just like the front forks of the front bucket or the blade, anything else that's so very, very simple to hook up. I don't think I got that side there. There we go, that looks better. So hooking up the blower is essentially uh, the same as the back. We've got their, our flat face couplers here. Put both of those guys on. And then we've got the plug that goes in here that runs the, the hydraulic, electric hydraulic for the chute. I'm gonna change that. I don't, I don't want that sitting like that and getting water in it. So I'm gonna have to revisit that little deal there, but it works for now. So let's take a look at this guy here. So this is, as far as I can tell, it looks like to me is a pretty much a standard uh, type of a skid steer blower uh, with, the, with the single auger. The, the snow goes to the center, it's pushed into that spinning wheel and then it will come out the chute. Now, the, of course, this is all powered by hydraulics, uh, the main lines, and then down inside, this little guy, uh, th there's a motor that turns the chute as well as the gate on the top. What's well, heavy? Everything's heavy duty. This is like municipality grade here. Uh, that little hydraulic electric hydraulic will move that chute up and down to control the way it sprays. Standard quick attach connection, just like that. Very clean. We've got nice uh, uh, skid shoes on there, adjustable. So we, if you're going to do a parking lot or gravel, or, you know, or a field, uh, you can change those. Um, we'll just leave them where they're at until we try it. But we are supposed to have a lot of snow this winter. We sure had a lot last year, and this would have been very, very nice. The blade that we had was a, great, was a great tool, but when the snow got so deep, we ran out of places to put the snow. Also, you'll see that we uh, sized it so that the blower is just a tad bit wider than the tractor. That way, the tr we, we're not fighting the snow or, you know, we've, the, it's going to be clearing a path that's just a little bit wider than the tractor. Um, so that it'll, it'll go free and be just less, less friction and less trouble. But man, that is a good looking unit right there. So here's a wider shot so you can kind of see how it, how it lays out. When I first saw this, I thought, man, that's a lot of hassle, uh, that big hydraulic unit on the back to, to run a hydraulic pump. I didn't realize how the whole system works, but the more I think about it, um, it, it does, it may, it only makes sense for me to run. I, I can't plow snow. Uh, unless I have um, something really heavy on the back. 
uh, because the snow plow is heavy and all of the snow that you're carrying and builds, builds up and you lose traction. So you have to, when you're weighting a tractor, you have to kind of have them balanced. They'll carry a tremendous amount of weight, but if you add a bunch of weight to the front, you've got to add weight to the back. So what I found out that I had to do with the snow plow is either I had to run, put the backhoe on there, which is really a hassle um, to plow with because when you're plowing driveways and stuff, you're moving around, you want it to be as compact as possible. So that was a hassle. Um, and then, or you could put like a drag box on there, you know, and that thing's huge and it's banging around. So that's not very nice. So having that, uh, th you have your counterbalance right there. So it does, it's, there's really not a downside to it. Um, and then it's weighted perfectly for the, for the blower. So, uh, it's just, it's, I, I think it's, I, I think it's really smart and the versatility it gives, um, I can't wait for it to snow. I'm just watching the calendar, <laughs> watching the calendar. What do you say? Shall we fire it up? Hoo hoo, the fan. So here's the remote uh, that controls the blower. So we've got uh, two switches right there. So one controls the gate on the top and then the other controls the uh, focus. No focus? Controls the uh, rotation. Still not gonna focus. Well, you get the point right there. So uh, I, we had to hook this up or we hooked this up when the dealership uh, brought it out. And so what we did um, is we just left enough in there. What I, what I think I'm gonna do is I'll build a bracket somewhere right here that's convenient uh, where I can get to that uh, so I don't have to hold this unit. Uh, but for now, um, I just ran it down through uh, a factory hole that was there and then down alongside the, the factory loom and then up here to the plug. I hooked it, we uh, had to tie it into the battery, so we just hooked it up to 12 volt to the battery. Interesting thing, so uh, the guys from the dealership were here, the two mechanics that came out delivered it and helped me you know, get everything set up. We were looking for the battery, like, where's the battery at? I couldn't remember where the battery was at. And I thought it was funny that they didn't know where the battery was either. And the guy, the guy said, I think, well, you know, to be honest with you, we sell a lot of these and they just don't break. So we don't work on them very often. We hardly ever see them. <laughs> so I felt pretty good about that when you, you hear from the mechanic, you know, the guys who actually work on them, um, that, they, that they are a good tractor. So, yeah, that's not that nice. So that's going to be something. We'll, uh, as soon as we get some snow, uh, we'll take this out and we'll shoot a video on it and see how it how it goes. I'm just wondering how far that's going to blow snow. I because uh, it this is you know be spinning uh, the RPMs on this is same as your mower, so it's like 540. I think I read in the instructions, but I spooled it up to 540 and man, it was just ripping. So I can imagine it's going to throw snow a long, long ways, and that's going to just help us tremendously with this heavy, wet snow that we have. But a very clean install in Yanmar. I mean, my hat's off to them. They just did a wonderful job uh, putting this together. Uh, we had a need and, and they, they listened to us and, um, and we worked with them on it and they came up with this and it's just a beautiful piece of equipment. Just so versatile and um, just revolutionary. I mean, I don't know if there's anything else out there like this. I've not seen it uh, because I have used and my neighbors all have snow blowers. It's the best piece of equipment for this area because of the type of snow that we have and the quantities and most of them have a rear mounted and which works fine so basically you're taking a, a snow blower and mounting it on the rear of the tractor running off a of PTO but you got to do everything in reverse and, and you know like the real Martian you know bless him he's got a long driveway you know a mile and a half or so that he's got to plow before he can get to work and he's got to do all that in reverse and it's 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 really hard it's really hard on you and just not very comfortable so to be able to sit comfortably and to plow forward is a whole nother thing i mean i've seen lots of attempts to do this uh, i had another uh, neighbor that had a john deere and they had a gear a, a, a bunch of gear reduction stuff and actually uh, several drive shafts that ran underneath of the tractor uh, up to this front mounted snow blower. I mean, it was a mechanical nightmare uh, and a maintenance nightmare as well. And it didn't work all that well. There was so much power lost through all of the transfer of shafts and all of that. This is um, this is the best I've ever seen. So, yeah, if I sound like a Yanmar fanboy, I am. 
Um, I have ran tractors all my life and I have done, I'm, I'm in this tractor almost every day. I couldn't live without it. And it is a, an amazing, amazing piece of equipment for as small as it is, uh, the power that it has. I mean, just look at the size of the implements that it is able to, to, th to swing. I mean, every time I get an implement out here, I'm shocked at the size of it because the tractor is so compact and then I get these huge implements on it and I call the guys at the dealership like, are you sure you brought the right one? Like, yeah, no, it'll, it's got plenty of power. Don't worry about it. And they've always worked. So that's great. All right. More snow blowing to come. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.